The last edition of the Grammys Awards held on 12th February 2017. This year was very different. The expected winner for the best album was Beyoncé with her album Lemonade. But eventually the award went to Adele, who decided to break the award into pieces and share it with her fiancé Beyoncé. Have you ever heard of Romani Tragopetta? If not, you really need to read the article about the traditional festival and celebrated on 24 February. Uh, the legend says that there was a Dragopete who wanted to marry a girl he dreamed about. One may presume that the festival is a kind of local science Valentine's Day celebrated for a very long time. The article caught our attention as it shows that the young prefer to celebrate popular festivals as Saint Valentine's Day instead of traditional ones, for example, Dragobette. In my opinion, young people should cultivate the traditional festival and not forget about their own roots. We like that the information for the article was gathered by the interview of a daily lady named in the village. Not all of us may get to know about the tradition, not from the internet, but from the eyewitness. The recent terrorist attacks have put a lot of fear in many of the western cities, which resulted in increased security preparations during last year's New Year's Eve celebrations. In Berlin, armed vehicles and concrete blocks were put out to prevent people from accessing certain areas which were considered more risky. In London, a record number of policemen were out patrolling on the streets and even the US Army took special security precautions in case of an attack during the New Year's Eve celebrations. The need for increased security during large festivities and crowded places is therefore getting more and more necessary as terrorist attacks are starting to become a more frequent in Europe. Good morning, our names are Miriam and Elena. We chose to speak about an article written by Gary Knight's sister from Sweden. This article talks, uh, talks of a 16 year old boy who was killed at the bus stop. Ahmed was a boy who waited for the, for the bus like we do every day. The police still hasn't found any reason uh, for this uh, murder. Ahmed was a good guy uh, with, um, with a dream to become a, uh, to become a doctor. Uh, we think this uh, is uh, unfair uh, become, uh, uh, such, because such a uh, um, young boy deserved uh, to live his life and uh, make his uh, dream uh, come true. It's a terrible uh, way to die for a young boy. On 18 January 2017 in the region of Brusa in Italy, in a place already damaged by a great number of earthquakes. After 72 hours of heavy snowfall, a mass of snow came away from the mountain sail carrying with it rocks and trees, covering and destroying completely the Rigopiano Hotel with almost 40 people inside. Two people escaped and called for help, but the prefect of the city of Pescara initially ignored the alarm, thinking it was a joke. One of the survivors was a chief on holiday with his family, his wife and two children. All of them were saved. It was a simple event that saved his life. He had dipped out the fetched medicine from the car from his wife, but he turned back towards the four-star hotel. He saw the building engulfed in a rolling wall of snow, ice and rocks. It took eight hours for the first rescue workers to reach the site of hotel, traveling on foot because the roads were, were impossible. Unfortunately, 29 people lost their lives in this disaster.